What is going on everyone? It is Jason Yancer, right her, and I'm doing a brand new video for you guys today. Um, I'm so excited because I've been meaning to come outside and do a video and it's pretty nice out. It is quite breezy, so you might be hearing wind going by and all that noise. That's just, you know, it's how breezy it is. It is a little chilly, but hopefully the sun's going to come out soon. Um, anyways, let's get right into it. I'm going to do a very new video for you and show you what is on my phone. All the current apps I use, what's preloaded on this phone, and everything I enjoy about it. So let's get right into it. So let me go ahead and put the screen recording mode on. By the way, I have a Huawei phone, and I just learned how to pronounce that the other day. I was always saying Hawaii, because that's the way it looks, the way it's spelled. H-U-A-W-E-I, which is actually pronounced Huawei. Um, so let's get right into it, okay? So I'm going to show you the apps that I have on here and some default ones. So the number one app that I download, not number one app, but the first app that shows up that I downloaded personally is the Cash app. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the Cash app, it's an app where you can go ahead and send and receive payments um, with your friends, say you owe them money or you just want to send them a gift for their birthday or any other event. You can do it right through this app here. And it's unlimited amount, I believe, or maybe it goes up to a certain amount. Um, I think it's at least a dollar or maybe at least 50 cents. No, I think it's at least a dollar that you have to do. So you can send money, like I said, and then also too, if you'd like, you can get an actual cash card and that cash card works just like a debit card same concept and they'll send that to you in the mail and you can always swipe that wherever you go if you need it be or say you don't have any other card um, what else I have on here let's see we'll scroll down a little bit those are all preloaded apps that come on here Google Chrome clock contact dialer downloads drive duo email duo is another Google's um, video chatting app um, I have hangouts on here as well that I've downloaded because I prefer Hangouts and I'm so used to Hangouts. But Google, I mean, yeah, Google came out with Duo and it's one of their newer apps. And Hangouts, I believe you could do with multiple people. I'm not sure if you could do that with Duo. I think it's only just a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Um, the next app I have on here that I've downloaded is HQ. It's pretty recent and new. Um, I'm not sure how long they've been around, but I've just recently downloaded it. Um, the next game, as you can see, is at 3 p.m. and it's a $250 price. $2,500, oh my goodness, $2,500 prize, and that's actual cash that you can win. So it's a trivia game based on 12 questions you have to get right, and then you can win $2,500 or split it with amongst whoever's left at the 12 question, whoever you know, wins. So as you can see, my re weekly rank is $2,700, uh, yeah, $2,708, and that's pretty good, I would say, because it's out of like um, a million people or so. That's usually showing about a million people are playing the game at once. I haven't currently won at all. It's quite hard. Um, they start off with easy questions, but once they get to about five or six, it's hard. Um, I got up probably, I think, to question eight before with the help of Google. Um, but you don't have much time either. You only get ten seconds, so it is quite hard. Um, another app that's just as similar is down here. It's called The Q. Um, same concept and everything. This one, you only get eight seconds, though, to answer a question. Um, as you can see, it shows the next game is at 1 p.m. and a hundred dollar prize. Um, so we'll have to look forward to that. And once again, I have not won anything on neither of these apps, so I'm still, you know, sticking in there. But it is quite hard. The questions get hard as they go. All right, let's see. I have Huawei Alexa. I'm guessing that's the same concept as you know the Alexa, Amazon Alexa. Um, I haven't used it before at all. It's I, I'm just not into it. I'm always the typer. I never sit here. There's also on here Google Assistant. Okay, Google to talk. You know, do its thing. Um, and then there's Hawaii, Huawei. I still said Hawaii. Huawei Alexa. But I haven't done either of those. So I have, of course, Instagram. You know what Instagram is. If you don't, where have you been? Um, Instagram's been around now for how long? Um, post pictures, like, comment, subscribe, follow your friends or whoever else. Any Instagram account. Follow me, Jason. Yes, sir. Um, on to the next, I have Lyft, works just like Uber, if you guys are familiar with that, but I actually prefer Lyft, um, and I also, I like the idea of Lyft, um, for a couple reasons why, I've never used Uber myself, but you, watching it off of other people, I don't know, and I just don't care for it, and I feel like Lyft is a little more easier to navigate, and also, they give you a lot of credits and coupons and promos, so I just like it better. Um, what else do I have on here? These are all default apps. Um, move on to Smart Controller. I'll show you guys what this is. So Smart Controller, I didn't download this. It came onto my phone already pre-installed. And I have to say, I enjoy it. Um, I really, really enjoy it. 
So as you can see, I have an Epson. It's an Epson projector that I have actually programmed into this phone. So I can control my projector right off of my phone. And it was as easy as can be. Um, I'll show you how to get things started. But you can see here, I have a full menu, volume, zoom, in, out, direction, however I want to move it. Now, this is how simple it is to add. Oh, the wind's blowing my camera around. I told you it's windy out here. I'll show you how easy it is to add something. So you can go ahead and click add, and now I have to just choose the device I'm looking to add to control. There's TV, air conditioner, STB, camera, network STB, DVD player, and projector. So we're gonna go ahead and just click TV as if we were gonna connect the TV. Now there's a list of a bunch of TVs as you can see, starting from numbers all the way down to Z. Now, if you don't want to scroll, you can obviously search for the brand. So we're going to go ahead and just say Samsung. Why not? And I will just go ahead and click Samsung. And now I can just push this button here, the power button, to see if it's going to work. I push the power and if the TV turns on or off, obviously it's working. And it usually does. It's so simple to use. Then I can go ahead and push yes if it is. Yes for volume. You can, you know, test them all out. And then it says to import a name. We're just going to hit OK. And then as simple as, oh, it stopped recording the screen. But as simple as that, okay, we're back in action. So as simple as that, as you can see, I have a whole control setting here to control the TV, a Samsung TV. And it was so simple and easy to do. I could also go back and delete the TV if I would like. And it's, I, what I really enjoy about it is, you know how you would program old um, Remotes, you would have to sit there and punch in a code just to see, and it would give you a list of a bunch of codes, and you have to keep punching them in to see what's going to work for your TV. This doesn't do that. All you got to do is put in the brand name, and one, two, three, you're in. Like, it's so simple and easy to use. All right, what else do I have on here? Um, smart controller, I just showed you. Snapchat, of course, you guys know what Snapchat is. Um, go ahead and take a picture of Snapchat. So right there, we'll post that up there. Do that later and then we're going to go ahead and okay t-mobile tuesday so t-mobile tuesdays i enjoy this app it's an app for t-mobile users um what it is about oh, 150 dollars back to you a rebate on a samsung smartphone okay so every single tuesday they come out with deals and steals like literally um right now it's not tuesday so i can't really show you um that was the message i had but anyways, you will load it up and it will show you what's on here. So maybe I can go to expired and show you uh, my services and all that great out here. So I'm not going to be able to show you. But what they do is every Tuesday they release deals for you. So I've had before different deals as such as like discount movie tickets, like $4 movie tickets. Um, free things from Dunkin' Donuts. I've gotten gift cards from Dunkin' Donuts. Um, just this past week they gave free pretzels out for Auntie Anne's, Annie's, Anne's. So um, they always constantly give you different things, coupons, promos, discounts, like it's just great. And then like I said, it's completely free. You don't need to do anything. You just need to download the app if you're a T-Mobile customer. I feel like this is a sponsored video. Um, if you're a T-Mobile customer and then you start getting them right away on every single Tuesday, which is great. Um, I have Twitter, of course, on here. You guys got to go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Jason, yes, sir. Um, I got to get my followers up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, Jason has certain, and I'm always posting new tweets, and that's probably the most number one app I use on here. Um, what else I have? Okay, so I had to download Visual Voicemail, which I'm not too happy about. That was probably the downside about this phone. My previous one I had was the Google Nexus 6P, and what I enjoyed from that was it had a built-in Visual Voicemail, and it would actually transcribe the message into text for you, which I really enjoyed. This one doesn't do so, so I had to download the Visual Voicemail app. Um, it still works the same, but it doesn't transcribe unless I pay more, which I'm not going to pay more. I don't even get much voicemails in it, so it's usually, you know, debit, debit, um, debt calls to collectors or something. So it's really not that important. But other than that, that's basically it for this phone. I don't download much apps. I'm the type to like my phone nice and simple, as you can see. I hate putting things in folders and having crowded things. I'm actually already thinking about getting rid of a couple of apps on here that I don't use. Um, like I said, those trivia apps, you guys can try them out, but they are quite hard. So I was actually thinking about getting rid of those, even though I downloaded them just recently. Um, 
But other than that, yeah, I don't have anything else. You guys let me know, though, if there's any apps that you enjoy or anything that I should get. Um, any other apps, but that's basically it for this video. Like I said, my phone, the Huawei Mate 9. I really do enjoy this phone, though. Um, the case, I love. I love this type of case because I hate putting screen protectors on my phone. But um, I like this phone. It has the finger um, print scanner on the back, which is simple, easy to use. So, boom, it's unlocked now. Um, easy as that. And it's a really great overall phone. Um, also, dual camera on the back, which I'm usually recording my videos with now. Right now, I had to obviously do it with a different camera because I'm showing you the phone. But um, yeah, that's just about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below the apps you use and what else I should probably check out and download. And like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you another time for another video. Bye.